And following yesterday's events charging one of the officers, we had our legal analyst weigh in on the grand jury and those charges. Six News reporter Cole Johnson sat down with Liz Mitchell to break it all down for us tonight. Ex Louisville police officer Brett Hankison is facing three counts of wanton endangerment in Breonna Taylor's case. But none of the three officers are facing charges for her death. In the course of this case with Miss Brianna Taylor, there was always a certain understanding that the one charge, the wanton endangerment, would be met. To me and most uh, legal analysts, that case was pretty clear cut. Liz Mitchell is the legal analyst for Six News. She walked through her analysis of the charges in the case. Mitchell says murder charges were going to be an uphill battle. She says that's because the law protects those with self-defense. Taylor was shot and killed in her home on March 13th. The officers were serving a search warrant as a part of a drug investigation. It has been widely reported that the officers were executing a no-knock warrant. With this type of warrant, officers do not have to identify themselves. One witness said they heard them announce themselves, while others say they did not hear it. Her boyfriend believed it was a home invasion. Police said he fired a shot at the door and hit an officer in the leg. Police shot back. In this case, despite the fact that Ms. Taylor's boyfriend felt like it was an intruder and fired, because he fired first, because an officer was in fact shot, that return fire, I believe, really created a difficult position for that grand jury, for the attorney general, in which they were up against a rock and a hard place because the law is set up in a way that protects people um, under the self-defense statute. 